We are off to Inflationation today. I'm pretty excited for this. We have, I've just booked, actually, I've just phoned them up to book. It's called Inflationation. We're going to the Cheshire one. We were going to go to Manchester, but plans have changed. Um, it's an inflatable theme park packed full of exciting, brand new and improved activities and features including the UK's first giant duo drop slide, the UK's first five-person inflatable slide. I'm looking forward to it. I'll put the website up on the screen now. Um, it's not too bad. It's like £10 each, but I just phoned up this morning to see if Lara gets a free carer and she does, so it's cost us 20 quid for me, Stephen and Lara, and we get an hour's worth of bouncing, so... We're off now, we're running a little bit late to be honest because I needed proof for Lara. It's like some places ask for proof that she needs a care, and some people just like let her in. They said on the phone, I need to take proof of. I can't find the proof. Anyway, we're gonna go and just hope that they let us in. <laughs> big pile of rocks outside <laughs> don't know what they're doing here we are all checked in look at this so we've got our wristbands on we're gonna go and um yeah we'll leave our shoes here we're gonna go and listen to the safety briefing we're gonna switch to gopro we got a summer of the kind of movie love all in for some more of anything that comes along It was really good, we all had a good time. We were kind of sort of just talking about whether we preferred trampolining or that. So we all prefer trampolining, but we did have a good time. We've just driven, it's a bit noisy, just driven to Chester because we had to come, I sold a buggy on eBay. So we had to come to Chester to drop it off, so we thought we would come and have a little wander around, maybe grab some lunch or something. That's gonna annoy me as well. Get <laughs> the leaf off there. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Vegan diva. Vegan coffee shop. Um, not very many, 5,000. I don't like it at all. Oh, I couldn't have been like a medieval person. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say an archer, and then I thought that wasn't didn't really. Are you glad it's Sunday, Steve? It's going to be taking you to vegan diva. Panini? You don't like the panini, eh? Hey?
बहुत ही शानदार day out as you can see I'm just upstairs in my room just I've just come up to do some work out of my bed to be honest but um, yeah we all had a really nice day the inflationation was we were talking about it and like I said before it's probably all like these are the things that we've kind of done recently we did the treetop nets if you haven't seen that video I will link these up in the cards treetop nets which we all kind of thought was our favorite thing and then I think trampolining was our next favourite and then Inflation Asian was like third or last. <laughs> but like that's when we didn't have a good time, we didn't have a good time. We think that probably it's more like we had we had yeah, we had a we had fun, but like to go again, just the three of us, we probably wouldn't. We would probably go like with the younger children, with foster children. So whilst we had fun, it wasn't it's not gonna be on the top of our list as things to do. I think it is more you know it's a younger child thing to be quite honest but it was it was good i will put the website down below if you do want to have a little look like i think it's 10 pound i don't know if it's cheaper for children to be honest Maybe like under threes are cheaper or something but i will put the website just down below so you can check it out they do have quite a few around the country i think there's there's manchester's cheshire glasgow birmingham newcastle there's a few different ones so if you're interested i'll put that link check it out and also Chester was good. The reason we went to Chester, like I said, I had um, I sold a pram. I just, as I said, I sold a pram on eBay, and we kind of thought we were going to go to the Manchester and Fleeter Nation anyway. And then we saw that there was one in Chester, which was, and the buggy sold on eBay, and they lived in Chester. And we were like, oh, we could go and deliver it to them, and go to the Chester one. So that's what we did. And then Chester's just a really nice town. Uh, if you've never been it it's just like the, obviously like the city walls and it's just it's just a nice little town to wander around so that was really nice and it was a glorious day so we had to kind of get outside and make the most of that because we're not getting very many nice days at the moment it's pretty miserable november is just to me i just really don't like november because like december's all right because like november's just really rainy and horrible and like nothing's really going on whereas December like you put your Christmas decorations I can't believe I mentioned Christmas my goodness but you put yeah, your Christmas decorations up or we do anyway on like the 1st of December or the nearest weekend to the 1st of December and like there's lights and it's just a bit you know people are excited about Christmas but November to me is like it's too early to be thinking about Christmas and it's just rainy and horrible and yeah I'm not a fan of November to be quite honest but there you go yeah that was our day i hope you had a wonderful weekend it'll be monday when this goes up so do let me know what did you get up to at the weekend did you have a kind of relaxing one did you get out and about and do some stuff we had actually a, a really busy weekend because on saturday we were just so busy with the rental house we were like over there we had to leave the house at like quarter to seven in the morning then we had like a gas problem it, it was a long a long weekend but it doesn't feel like it was a stressful one stressful i mean yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel. It didn't feel like. It doesn't feel like it was dead busy, but it kind of was really. I guess when you've got three young children, then they haven't got three young children anymore. <laughs> Nothing else feels <laughs> hugely busy, to be quite honest. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do remember, I'm trying to do lots of stories on Instagram at the moment. So if you're not following me over there, it's been an adventure. It's always just up on the top of the screen anyway, and it's linked down below. Do follow me over on Instagram. I would love it if you would do that. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe if you are new. Most of my videos are watched by people who are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are not subscribed, do hit that, I was going to say hit that bell, but hit the subscribe and the bell so you can get notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday.